Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Sue McDonald of Willa Television. I'm going to introduce you tonight to Bob McDonald, our Scottish correspondent, and he is interviewing Jackie Shaw. Jackie and Bob are going to have a very intimate and interesting conversation tonight, ladies and gentlemen, so listen up. <laughs> Good evening. Right, whatever. This is Bob McDonald interviewing the elusive Jackie Shaw. Jackie, yes, you Bob. did promise that this would be an honest interview. What's an honest I did. Good. Now tell me, Jackie, would it's you fun. say that you are technologically impaired? Yes, but apparently not as much as my sister Vicky. Really? Really. Is this a trait, do you think? I don't know. We need to find out. I think so. Let's explore that slightly. I believe that you had a problem with a vacuum cleaner. Yep. Would you care to describe? Well, when we... I probably haven't used a vacuum cleaner for like 10 years, something like that. And when we moved down to Devon... Pauline sent me down in advance to get the house ready to move and when I got there I got the vacuum cleaner out and then I didn't know how to turn it on. <laughs> so, <laughs> how, how was this problem resolved? I rang it. She told me where it was. Didn't she tell you what to do with it? Well, she told me what to do with myself but she told me how to turn the vacuum cleaner on. Uh -huh. yeah. and, and have you vacuumed since? Yes, now I vacuum frequently so I don't forget. Isn't that right, Paul? No comment. <laughs> oh. We might explore this later. You said that you moved to Devon. Where did you move to Devon from? Lincolnshire. Lincolnshire. A little village called Frognall. Frognall. Mm. All right. Is that Frognall where the infamous naked es escapade happened in the garden? Yes. Yes. Miss Shaw, are you sure you want to tell us? No, I don't want to tell you. But, but I think you should. Okay. What you need to understand about this is that this is nothing to do with me and all to do with Teddy the cat. So imagine you're in excuse, bed. Excuse me. Hold on. Teddy. The cat. Right. I want to talk to you about cats later on. Okay. So, Teddy the cat. Okay, is crying outside. I'm in bed, I'm asleep, and obviously when you're asleep and you're in bed, you're naked, right? So I go to the front door to let him out. This is two o'clock in the morning. Go to the front door to let him out, and uh, he just meows and runs a little way up the road. It's two o'clock in the morning, who's gonna see me? So I step outside the door, naked, just run a few, <laughs> few feet along, and Teddy runs off again, and he's meowing. And somehow, and I think I had been out that night, I ended up in our neighbours, Janet and John's garden, with the cat, which I could not catch, and a car then went by, and I had to hide behind their tree. And when does the case come up to court? <laughs> it didn't, fortunately. It didn't, but they obviously couldn't believe their eyes, and then I had to hide behind cars to get back. This is like only 40 yards. So you were skulking around Frognall, naked, naked. two yes. in the morning? Yes. I see. It seemed safe yes. at the time. Is this a habit of yours? Or? No. Christ, no. Christ, no. no. It's not. No. Cats. Yeah. Jackie, Tell um, excuse me, but didn't you clean the drains out <coughs> in the patio, naked, when it was pouring down? It was down? raining, so what is the point of being dressed? Hold on, I'm seeing a pattern. I and am. I'd just like to say we do live in a house that isn't overlooked by anybody. This is in Devon. So you've taken this nakedness, nakedness <laughs> from Frogno. I do not go on Devon. naked holidays, by the way. Don't you? No, of no. Right. What about cats? Food. Have you taken a cat from Frogno to Devon? Yes, three cats. Three cats. Hmm. Don't you have a problem with cats? I've got cat allergy. Cat allergy. You've got an allergy with something else, haven't you? Prawns. Prawns. 
Do you have many dishes with prawns no. in it? No. no. So how did you find out? What was the recipe that that gave you this allergy? Or, of Every time prawns? I came home, I felt ill. From eating prawns? No, cats. You've been eating cats? <laughs> Hold the cats up. make me ill. I thought prawns made you ill. No. Yes. <laughs> Flip. What the hell's going on? Prawn, yes. Prawns make cats you ill. Cats did make. <laughs> prawns did make me ill. Prawns. Cats make me ill as well, but I can take a tablet for them. Right. Haven't you just? Wouldn't it be better just not to eat them? Yes. That's yes. true. Yes. Eat no more cats. Eat no more cats. Or prawns. Or prawns. End of allergy. Yes, That's not true. Right. Yeah. I'm not sure about this. This cats and prawns business. Another thing I wanted to ask you about. What about your skill sets? Would you say dancing is a particularly you know, important part of your life? I'm only good at smooching. Smooching. I'm rubbish at dancing. I dance like a granny. <laughs> Or like your dad's dad. Your dad's dad. Uh -huh. Right. But I'm a really great teacher. Are you? Mm -hmm. What, you nibble ears and things? God, no. <laughs> Only with cows. My stepmother's got to this. No, I don't. You don't nibble ears? No. No. Or cats? No, I don't nibble cats here. You've so. stopped doing that. Exactly. Oh, yeah. that's good. I'm glad to hear that. Would you describe yourself as being driven? Yes. Yeah? Do you swear where you're driving? Never. <laughs> Never. And do you lie a lot? Yes. Frequently. Yeah? Yeah. Uh-huh. White you, lies. Do you use bad swear words when you're driving? Yes. Yeah? Does it take much to get your temper going when you're driving? No. No. Is this a trait that runs in the family? Is your sister's? Are they into swearing or driving badly? I think Charlotte would definitely swear. Uh -huh. I don't think Emma would. She seems too sweet. Really? Hmm. I, don't. I don't think Mary would. All right. Now tell me about the laundry. Well, I've got a note here that says that you were doing something in the laundry. What were you doing in the laundry? What's I doing in the laundry? Nothing, because you don't do any ironing. No, I haven't ironed. Oh, I'm proud of the fact I haven't ironed since 1997. Let me get this right. You don't know how to switch a vacuum cleaner on. No. You don't know how to iron or operate the washing machine. I do know how to iron, I just choose not to do it. Oh, I see. I do know how to operate the washing machine. Do you? It's mm. okay, I don't know how to do it either. Sorry. Not that I would want to operate your washing machine, but I no, don't know how to operate no, no. my washing machine. Uh huh. And would you say that you're a driven person in work? Yes, very. Yeah? And Pauline? She's more laid back. Laid back? Productive? She's more like... Calm? Maybe. Calm? Collected? What, Pauline or mm, me? Pauline. Uh, she's just laid back. Laid back. Mm -hmm. And you're not, you're not tight. Do you swear at work? Yes. Is swearing an important part of your life? No, God, no. It's the thing I try not to do. Really? No. Tell me about alcohol. What about it? Does that play an important part in your swearing? No. It makes no difference whether I've had alcohol or not. <laughs> <laughs> I see. Is there anything else that you would like to tell us about that perhaps the notes here don't fully explain? You know, what were the notes, Bob? Let's, let's have a look. Have you noticed that when Miss Shaw is reading this, her lips aren't moving? <laughs> oh, it says about skiing. Why don't I ski? Oh, right, of course. Uh, Bob, looking, ask a question why I don't ski. Looking anymore. at this, tell me, why don't you play badminton or go skiing? Okay, I don't ski cards each time I've ended up in hospital. One at the top of Blackburn rupturing my cruciate ligaments and the other I wouldn't wear my hat because I didn't look cool and I skied into a bus into a bus <laughs> you skied into a bus yeah well the wing <laughs> mirror specifically <laughs> <laughs> 
Was the bus moving at the time? No, it was stationary. Right. And so was I after it happened. <laughs> <laughs> Did alcohol play any part of this? Oh, Christ, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was a nocturnal holiday. Uh huh. I see. Where was this? Some foreign place. Oh, it was yeah. Chamonix or somewhere. Chamonix, yeah. 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 Somewhere foreign. Yeah. Yeah. I see. Yeah. Well, Miss Shaw, I've got to say that I, I haven't found all your answers convincing. I really haven't. I, I think you're still holding out on us. Particularly about your relationship with cats. I love cats. But you couldn't eat a whole one. I couldn't eat a whole one. No. <laughs> and I don't recommend it quite often. Well, thank you, Robert. Uh, that's a very interesting conversation. I'm now going to conclude this interview by asking Jackie. <laughs> I'm enjoying your evening. Yes, I feel a bit pressurised. However, so thank you both of you for a very interesting and intimate and in-depth conversation. And I'd like to wish you all good night and thank you for listening. Good it's night. a wrap. It's a wrap. Good night. Good night.